We'll see a full video tour of one of these big 34 RSBS beauties in just a minute, but first I want to introduce you to the limited production J Flight farmhouse interior. Uh, this year, <laughs> it's almost like uh, Oprah, the farmhouse fairy, has visited Jayco. And previously, where the uh, farmhouse decor was available only in the Eagle series, suddenly it's everywhere. It's just like they looked at all their brands and went, you get a farmhouse, and you get a farmhouse, and you get a farmhouse. And uh, the J Flight group was one of the only ones that uh, didn't adopt it. There's, there's some production reasons for it. However, they are flirting with the idea of offering this on a more widespread basis. Currently, it is available in a limited production of only three floor plans, the 24RBS, the 28BHS, and this 34RSBS here at Halid RV. And wouldn't you know it, we picked up a handful of all three of them. So here's the thing, here's what we need. If you want this to stay, you gotta voice your opinion. You gotta make it known that this is something that you'd be interested in purchasing, otherwise they're just gonna say, see, told you we didn't need to do it. And in a small room like this, like the bathroom, the farmhouse uh, change is very obvious, and it's very awesome, too, because it makes this little room look and feel lighter, brighter, bigger, and better. It doesn't feel quite so small. Um, and then when we get back up here into the bedroom, so that you have a little bit more of that kind of classic, cozy kind of feel, we go back to a more traditional, and it's this dark, it's not black, it's an espresso kind of brown uh, wood tone that even though I really dislike this cliched phrase, it makes that lighter wood tone, that cream, really pop. And uh, it's it's kind of funny because like if you're si if you're just looking at the living room or the bedroom here, it looks just like a normal J flight, maybe one with the sterling decor like you'd often find here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. But in the kitchen, in the uh, bathroom areas, it's very obvious, very noticeable. I think it's very sharp, but my opinion doesn't matter. Yours does. So if you like what you see, let Jayco know. Uh, give our team here at Halid RV a call, voice your opinion, and enjoy a full walkthrough tour of this big triple slide beauty. 9,325 pounds, the big triple slide J Flight 34 RSBS here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. This is kind of a, it's a floor plan I call a flat deck fifth wheel. of dual opposing super slides. We like to deck it out with all sorts of fun features and upgrades, including second air conditioner. It is now washer dryer ready, and as always, has the industry's best warranty, which Jayco has had, but it got a little confusing for a while. They've had a two-year RV warranty, where most brands had one, but some brands had a three-year structural and it kind of muddied the water, so Jayco said, no problem. We're gonna give you a two-year and three-year structural, so now there's no questions. Now this is a model made for destination use. It is not built with any sort of traveling friendly intention. You can get to the bedroom and the bathroom with the slides closed, but beyond that, uh, the slides come together and they pretty much pinch off this peninsula uh, countertop right here and you really can't get to too much of anything else even if you're going to do the dukes of hazard yeehaw over the countertop the good news is it's worth it because when you get to that destination you get here you open up these opposing super slides especially in conjunction with the six foot nine interior height versus a, a, a potential six six it opens this thing right up and gives it a huge expansive feel. Now that peninsula countertop's a little different. Most brands go with an island, but they went with that peninsula here and it gives the living area a massive feel. Now obviously uh, you can see that we've upgraded to theater seating here versus a more conventional like jackknife type sofa. And that is directly a facing, uh, a facing, facing across from the uh, big HD TV, which actually is an optional piece of equipment, but in a floor plan like this, where it's a very entertainment focused model, I just couldn't imagine lacking that. The uh, fireplace down here giving us some uh, electric space heating so that you're not burning up your propane all the time. And uh, note those windows, they are fully trimmed out. And that's a cool thing Jayco does. Every window is fully trimmed. And that really gives those pleated nightshades something to really bite into. Um, and what I mean by that is it, it, it helps the shades, I swear, just work better. So that there's something more than just a piece of Luan that those shade anchors are screwed into. And, uh, you know, if you want to run those shades up and down, like some days you want light, some days you don't. It's nice to know that they're not going to wear out on you. 
Now back here you can see a uh, big trifold height of bed sleeper sofa so that this isn't just a good couples camper but it's got some decent guest capacity as well. Because with that full height of bed upgrade you actually have some decent adult sized sleeper space here which is something a lot of trailers tend to leave out. Now you're not seeing it right now because I have a lot of lights on. There's a lot of light pollution coming in through the windows but there's an indirect accent light under that sofa and I love how it's under the sofa so that it really works as a nice night light. It'll be one of those things, it'll make the floor glow just enough that if the guests need to be able to see to get to the bathroom at night, there'll be just enough light for them to do that without ever having to turn on any main overhead lights. There's similar exit lights under the kitchen counter. Now you notice, you can still walk between the sofa and the theater seat here. If you want to, you know, if you got maybe grandkids in the morning, like I slept late. Well, my grandparents could kick on the TV and start turning on some noise and rousing my little lazy butt up. Meanwhile, you notice over here that theater seat can still fully recline. And, uh, you know, if, if you need to, that's not a bad place to plop a kid down for a weekend. So something that uh, we did in uh, my last family camping trip, we just bunked up in Mr. Halet's fifth wheel. Uh, wife and I slept on the rear hide bed. We threw the kiddo over here on the uh, theater seat. And we got through the weekend just fine. We slept five in a couple's camper and <laughs> that got the job done pretty well. And this gives us a chance to look at a few things. First of all, now you can really kind of notice that accent light under the sofa and have an idea what I'm talking about. On both sides of the sofa, there are household outlets. You see them kind of tucked in there between that uh, sofa side breeze window and the rear breeze window. And can we acknowledge every window on this thing opens for airflow? And can we acknowledge as we pass over this heat massage theater seat upgrade, you are loaded with campsite windows over here. Note that they have still maintained over sofa slide storage, which is something so many brands have let go. Um, every ounce of storage counts. I don't like to waste anything. Another cool thing on Jayco's is that every overhead cabinet door, like the two above the sofa over here, they have gas struts, metal struts on them, so that the doors will hold themselves up so that you don't have to juggle. Well, here, I'm standing right next to one right now. Let me just, well, I tell you about it when I can show you, right? It's just nice when you're getting in that pocket-screwed cabinetry, uh, which means it's all lumber core, not particle board, by the way. It's, it's just easier to get in and out. And I guess as long as we're looking up here, why not call an audible, Blue 42, and look at the air system. The fact that every single duct can turn and close. That's called vented and louvered, if you're looking for the technical term. And every single overhead light can be individually shut off, although all of our main cabin lights are in one handy switch. Nice little, nice little things there. Over here, you can see that this uh, has been outfitted with the optional freestanding table and chairs, just to kind of give it that little... Just sort of a, well, what can I say? We churched it up a little bit. It just looks, it looks good. And with this being more of a couple's rig, we think that makes a lot of sense. We don't think the uh, the booth is going to need uh, be needed for sleeping space, especially when you have that full height of bed in the back. Now let's talk about air conditioning for a minute. We already talked about the, the ceiling vents. Standard, this would have a 13,500 BTU air. This is a big triple slide rig though. So we like to outfit that with the larger 15,000 BTU air conditioner. Also, we will outfit one of these triple slide 34 RSBSs with the second bedroom AC straight from the factory as well. And you can see above the kitchen, we also added that optional skylight. That's one of the things with this floor plan. You know, we do try to have something for everybody here, but this is one of those floor plans that just feels like you gotta go whole hog with it. Otherwise, you're just really selling yourself short, you know? And there is also a deceptive amount of storage in this floor plan because it's very easy to just glance at a couple kitchen cabinets and go, hmm, feels a little bit lacking. But if you really take a second, you open up everything around here, you have a big load of what I call pantrytainment storage, where this, you know, the TV acts like a giant door. And you could add little mini shelf units, you could stack up tall stuff, you could organize that however you wanted. And when the TV swings open, it makes it easier to get to those extra, like, uh, HDMI plugs and stuff on it. So very handy if you do want to upgrade your entertainment system. Like, right now, it's Bluetooth, DVD, stereo. That's pretty common stock. But uh, if you want to go nuts, you want to add a Blu-ray player, some Roku sticks or Amazon sticks or whatever, you've got plenty of space to do that. That is a uh, eight cubic foot gas and electric fridge, by the way. So it's good for traveling. The, this is a great floor plan for people like, look, I, I, you know, I snowbird or I sunbird. I live in 
north or south in season A, and I live in north or south in season B, and I, I rotate. Uh, you know, it gives it that good travel functionality while still giving you a, uh, a dual source refrigerator in the event of a power loss. Now note here uh, that uh, Peninsula End actually swings out. There's almost like a, a little pop-out Peninsula Pantry. I like alliteration, so we're going to call it that for today. And all around and under that stove, you can see every little nook and cranny has storage in. A little set of power outlets peeking up at us right there in that rear corner. And that's another thing, if you notice, like over here, we could call this a coffee bar. And there's a perfect place up here to keep some coffee mugs, maybe some wine glasses. Just depends on how you like to either get started or relax, but easy reach outlets. And once again, handy for, it just looks cool during the day. Like you can see that little glimmer of light coming out under the countertop right there. But uh, it does have under counter accent lighting, which is a neat thing whether you're using it for night lights or if you are using it for nighttime uh, navigation or you just want the RV to look cool. The fact remains, there's just not an ounce of space gone to waste in this Jayco. Jumping up to the bathroom here. They've done a good job of hitting a lot of things that are, I think, really important factors, like a big adult-sized sink there and a nice vanity to keep your shavers and medication and toothpaste up out of the way. Now, above the uh, sink area, there's that one blue element light right there. And what that's going to do is in the evening hours, or maybe in the early morning if you wake up, that whole shower here, it's going to glow and it will help cast light across the entire bathroom. All of the light fixtures, like that light countertop, the, the top of the porcelain foot flush stool that we're looking at here. It'll give you some good evening access. Very nice when this is located right next to the uh, bedroom. Like my wife tends to be up and down a couple times at night, but I tend to sleep like the dead. But light does bother me, kind of like the walking dead sometimes. Uh-oh, I'm starting to notice a trend. Anyway, I'm gonna have to check that. Anyway, uh, my point is, it's handy in the evening. <laughs> Flipping us around the other direction, you can see this also has a tremendous amount of dedicated floor to ceiling, six foot nine bathroom linen super stores. So whether it's, uh, you know, bath towels or uh, extra toiletries or all kinds of stuff. And also porcelain foot flush stool right there. And this is all right next to the entry door. So it is very kind of easy in, easy out. Even if you're at a destination, it's nice to, to know that you can hop in and out, use the bathroom, not track dirt through the whole camper. Now that is the optional second air conditioner that we like to add to these big triple slide beauties. Additionally, this has a deeper bed slide than a lot of similar things, which is why it has a huge extra wide um, side breeze windows. And that is a king bed right there. We can upgrade these to a king bed, and very commonly we tend to do so here at Halet RV. Now, one of the more recent updates... Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Let me, let me back up real quick. We've got household outlets there, and it's kind of hidden in the corner, but there is a household outlet right over there. Another thing, this has easy lift bed storage. Like, with just one hand, like I just did, you can lift that up, and you see that it actually passes through to the outside. We'll take a look at this from the exterior as well, but a full underbed storage like this is something that not every brand or manufacturer offers you. And to give you an idea of the size of that, that box you're looking at, that's the box that the microwaves are originally shipped to Jayco in. We keep those boxes and put some extra loose ends and accessories in them that come with the trailer so they don't go wandering off, basically. And you can see how it's dwarfed by the size of that compartment. And this floor plan always had this big front closet, but a more recent revision that was easily missed is the fact that it is now combo washer dryer ready. And you're looking at it, you're going, no it's not. I don't see any sort of plumbing fixtures in there. You see that brown wood panel right there? Those are easily removable shelves and that is like a false wall panel. You might notice how it, it, it doesn't go as deep as the nose of the trailer. So for the 98 plus percent of people who are not interested in a washer dryer in their RV, you're not gonna look at plumbing in your bedroom. They dressed it up very nicely, but for the other folks, it is there and accessible, and you are all set and ready should you choose to add a TV to your bedroom. And what's cool is that bracket, I'll talk about it outdoors, but you can actually float the same TV right outside for those game day, race day, or even if you just like some 
Almost like my grandfather used to like his AM radio just for noise in his shop, you know? Now, under that bed we just saw, or rather under the closet, you do still have a full front pass-through storage, and that is something a lot of brands, I think, drop the ball on when they start adding bed slides into travel trailers. You can also see how it is a true pass-through, doors on each side, and this is an extra wide, extra tall baggage door for easy ins and outs. Over here, under the awning, we've got outside TV hookups, and we've got a pretty good awning space. One of the nice things about this having a extended forward deck is that you've got a healthy amount of, you know, awning area right there. Now, this uh, awning's a little different in a couple ways. You see that the speakers are actually mounted in the awning heads, so that uh, when you've got your music on, it's pointing down here toward your campsite. And if it's a bit of a rainy day or something like that, the awning does have an auto rain dump, but with literally just two fingers. You can tilt the awning like that and get yourself some pretty healthy rain runoff. Now what's also kind of cool is if you leave it that way, it will sort itself out before you, uh, uh, well, as you roll it up and it'll come back out flat the next time. It's, you're not gonna break it, which is nice. Next to that 30 inch wide door, kind of between the door and the big window there with the two plus three sticker on it is the outside TV hookup area. And uh, remember that bedroom TV bracket that we saw, that little quick release job? you could mount that right outside. So if you do choose to add a little supplementary TV to your camper, you could have a couple different places to mount it. One of the neat things they do on every single J flight is a custom engineered chassis. And the easy way to spot that is that the tongue actually integrates with the A-frame. Although on a Jayco, they do a good job of dressing it up with an extended diamond plate up here so that uh, you've got a very good look and a whole lot of protection going on behind those 30 pound propane tanks, which is another kind of important quality. A lot of brands tend to give you 20s. And there's advantages either way, but especially a big model like this that's kind of designed to stay in one location for an extended period, I think those 30 pound tanks make a lot of sense. Um, the uh, power awning, power tongue jack, that stuff is kind of a dime a dozen, but I do still like to point that out where I can. Now we already saw how it had a full pass through, but what's really cool here is if you look down the side of these slides, you see there's more outside storage on this. And interestingly, a funny little phenomenon with travel trailers is that when uh, manufacturers add a bedroom slide out, very often you tend to lose outside storage, but in the case of this J-Flight, you actually gain outside storage. Now here in the uh, kind of middle chunk between the slides, we see our black tank flush, full outside shower, our uh, uh, gas and electric auto ignition, fast recharge, simultaneous use water here. All of our mechanical stuff is kind of centrally located. Now down below here, one of the things that I always recommend you do on a full blown J flight is take a knee so that you can see if it is equipped with the thermal package, which is what you'll find pretty much across the board here at Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. It's not just an enclosed belly. It's not just a heated belly. It actually adds layers of residential and uh, radiant barrier styles of, well, residential insulation and a radiant barrier. Plus, every single J flight always has a radiant barrier going on through every single slide floor, even the more basic SLXs. Now, right here, we've got a good look at the Goodyear Endurance Radials. That is a best in class feature right there. There is uh, no other supplier of American made tires used in the entirety of the towable RV industry. They are uh, also aluminum wheel upgrade now that I'm looking at it. But uh, those things are rated for 87 miles per hour at only 80 PSI. So if you need to stop at a generic tire shop to put air in them, you can. Now behind the fireplace, they noticed they had just this extra pocket. So they said, open it up. Why not let there be storage instead of wasting it? Some people, what is that for? Anything you want. I call it like, why is that there? Well, why not? It's why not storage is, is kind of one of the things that I call it. Uh, these are outfitted with reverse travel lighting, which is something you very commonly find in a lot of fifth wheels. Very handy should you choose to utilize that uh, backup camera prep for either a rear view only or uh, in motion observation camera. And back here, another option that you can see we've applied, and again, this is typically how we'll outfit them here at Halo RV, is the uh, two inch rear receiver hitch. So that if you choose to add something like a bike rack to this camper, you've got the perfect place to do it without you know wearing everything out. Uh, or like your warranty, you're not going to, to exhaust and, and wear out parts of your warranty effectively because it's factory installed. Now, once again, plethora of campsite windows. It is just absolutely loaded with them. 
and you can see how they are all heavily UV tinted. That is like a 50-50 feature in this class and category. Also, every single one of those uh, windows opens for airflow, whether it's the rear sofa or the side theater seat or dinette, doesn't matter. Every window on this opens for light and air. More light, more sights, more air in every single J flight. Now, I've mentioned a few times that this has a best-in-class warranty, and as you can see, we're no stranger to a lot of different types of RVs here at Haywood RV. And uh, sometimes people ask, why does this one have this warranty and this one has that warranty? Well, in, in the case of a Jayco, it's basically, um, they're just built thicker, heavier in certain areas, and that tends to help them uh, hold up long term. At least that's the idea, and generally speaking, their reputation has pretty much, you know, supported that. So one of the main differences I want to talk about is up here on the roof. Um, there's nothing wrong with OSB roof decking, but Jayco does choose to use a plywood roof decking in conjunction with a different kind of roof truss system, which, long story short, they call the Magnum Truss Roof System, and it holds about 50% more weight than anybody else in this class, if not more. And uh, what that means in English is the entire roof is going to be able to hold like more weight for a person walking around if you're going to do maintenance and upkeep on these really heavy handed seals that they put up here. It means that it can handle a heavier snow load. Like I literally know other dealers at other places whose sales managers will say, all right, everybody go get the snow brooms, clear out the roofs on the campers, but don't worry about the Jayco's. They don't need it. That's, that's not a story. I'm just making up. I've heard that from more than one place. That's the extra kind of stuff they put into the roof. But it's stuff you can't see. It's stuff you can't feel and touch. Unfortunately, you kind of have to take my word for it. And that's like <laughs> the, the, the worst thing to ever hear from a person whose paycheck, re you know, requires your business to come here. But I'm very real wor world about these things. I understand that. That's why I try to supply a couple little visual aids here and there. Like things like above their slide outs. <clears throat> Another thing you can't see. J flights have a uh, eight inch uh, tall micro laminated header beam that extends about 14 inches past the slide opening. And all of that probably means very, very little to you. But if you look over there, just for reference point, at that slide out, what I'm talking about is the, the big support beam that goes over the top of that slide. Over the super slide, there is a huge extra strong chunk of wood, basically, so that over time the roof doesn't sag over that slide out, because if it sags, then your corners are going to leak. There's extra things they do here that are not industry standard that add a little bit of weight, add a little bit of money to each and every Jayco that you're ever going to see. But it's also the reason they have the industry's best warranty. So if you're looking for a little bit of peace of mind, Jayco's definitely a brand that should be up on the list. And there's plenty of other very good brands, very good brands out there. But this is one that's just had that kind of name and reputation for a very long time. And you don't get a reputation like that by just building a good one every now and then. You know, you don't build the world's most popular travel trailer for like 15 years in a row by not building a good product. Very consistently, obviously. So hopefully that information is useful to you. And remember, doesn't matter where you live. All we ask if you find this video useful is the opportunity to work with you and your family here at Halo RV. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package, deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. You can see we do it all here, except for hidden dealer fees. That's another one of those things we just don't do. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.